गुड मॉर्निंग टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू परफॉर्म फर्स्ट प्रैक्टिकल ऑफ डिजिटल कम्युनिकेशन सिस्टम दैट इज टू कंस्ट्रक्ट द सर्किट फॉर जनरेशन ऑफ हैमिंग कोड फॉर फोर बिट्स डेटा बिफोर वी स्टार्ट द प्रैक्टिकल लेट्स अंडरस्टैंड व्हाट इज हैमिंग कोड हैमिंग कोड इज वन ऑफ द एरर करेक्टिंग कोड दैट डिटेक्ट एंड करेक्ट सिंगल बिट ट्रांसमिशन एरर इन दिस कोड parity bits are inserted in between the data bits this we can do with three step first identify the parity bits then identify the position of the parity bits and third is value of the parity bits the very first step that is to identify the parity bits we will have to basically use the formula the basic relation between 2 to the power p greater than or equal to p plus k plus 1 where p is the parity bits and k is the information bits here in our example we are using four bits of data therefore k will be equal to 4 therefore 4 plus 1 equal to 5 now the condition will become 2 to the power p greater than or equal to p plus 5 here we will need to check all the possibilities for p is equals to 1 2 raised to 1 greater than or equal to 1 plus 5 equal to 6 this condition is false so we will check for the next possibility that is 2 raised to 2 p is equal to 2 2 raised to 2 greater than or equal to 2 plus 5 equal to 7 so again this condition is false so we will have to check next possibility that is p is equal to 3 and the equation will become 2 raised to 3 greater than or equal to 3 plus 5 as 2 raised to 3 is 8 and which is equals to 3 plus 5 8 this condition satisfies therefore therefore we will add Four, three number of parity bits with four bits of data. Now, second step, we will have to check at what position we can add the parity bits. How we can add the parity bit? At what position we will have to add the parity bits? This we can find out. With two raised to zero equal to one. That is first position parity bit. Two raised to one equal to two. That is second position. And two raised to two equal to four. That is fourth position. In this way. all three parity bits will be positioned at first position second position and the fourth position now the remaining four bits will be your data bits d3 d5 d6 and d7 now the last step that we will have to follow is how to set the values of this parity bit to set the values of the parity bits we will just use a simple formula first first parity bit 
check one bit and skip one bit check one bit skip one bit so we will check p1 bit we will skip p2 bit check d3 skip p4 check d5 skip d6 and check d7 likewise similarly we will check for the p2 bit p2 is the parity bit 2 therefore therefore we will check two bits p2 and d3 as we are doing it for as we are doing it for parity bit 2 we will use p2 and d3 we will start with p2 and d3 check p2 and d3 skip p4 and d5 again check d5 and d6 now if there are the further bits we will have to skip two bits and we will have to take two bits likewise similarly for fourth parity bit start from p4 bit check four bits and skip four bits therefore we will get for p1 bit 1357 for p2 bit 2367 and p4 bit 4567 thus we will get the following Hamming code word for 4 bit of data now we will have to design this circuit to design this circuit we are going to implement this with the multi sim software in the multi sim software what we will have to do the connection as per the circuit diagram that we have that we are already having in our manual i have already designed the circuit due to time constraint we can choose the required component from the select component window for gates we will have to click on all groups and for leds on the diodes leds are there in the diodes once all the connection are done as per the diagram put all the values of the data bits for example we are doing it for 1011 one zero is our one is our msb bit zero next to msb then zero one zero one one d3 is your lsb bit and d7 is your msb bit and observe the parity bits generated to get the hamming code so this will be your data bits p2 and p4 will be zero zero whereas p1 will be set to one we can change the data bit next combination that we can do is one zero zero one so parity p4 will get set and others will be off so the hamming code will be one zero zero one one zero zero next is one zero 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 one triple zero for this all the parity bit will be set all the parity bits are on therefore hamming code will become one double zero one zero one one likewise you can check for the remaining data bits whatever the data whatever the data we have got that we have to put in this hamming code word as i said for 1011 one, 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 d7 will be 1 d6 will be 0 d5 will be 1 and d3 will be 1 this is our data and we have observed the parity bit in the multi sim and it was 001 only parity p1 was set so you have to write down this observation in the observation table simultaneously you can check for the another one in this the below questions are given again 
different examples you can solve for it observe the parity bit and you can generate the hamming code for the given parity bit given data bit in this second question the hamming code for the odd parity bit has been asked to you so with this experiment setup you are not allowed to do, go for the odd parity bit this will give you only even parity bit of data theoretically you will have to calculate the parity bit for this 1010 as discussed by the method this hamming code we are generating at transmitter side next at receiver side we will have to check the parity bit that we will cover in the next video thank you